What a beautiful day where there's no time to waste. Today is match day. Another match, and especially after our defeat two days ago, we need to step it up. And today we're going to play against a team that has like a lot of money and they are the league favorites to win this league. So it's going to be another tough match. It's going to be a long travel because it's so, so far away. So I'm going to be again this whole day in the train, literally. But so looking forward to the match today. And my breakfast, because you need to start the day right, is... As always, some banana, strawberries, porridge. So I'm gonna enjoy that with cinnamon. But let's start this day right. And hopefully we're gonna take those three points, even that it's really hard, but we had a good league start because we're still unbeaten, top of the table. Two games, two wins, and this FA Cup loss. I mean, this happens like red card after like 15 minutes this is unbelievable but we need to keep going on and the reason why i can still play even that i saw a red card is because a red card here in england is just like after a week so probably next saturday i can't play but because it's just two days ago i'm able to play like it's very weird but that's how it is here in England. So I'm glad that I can play and hopefully we can win. We can win. We have a good performance. I can help out the team because I don't know if I'm going to start because after a red card, maybe the manager is going to say, look, nah, but we will see. Four, eight, six, two. I think the temperatures today are like 30 degrees. It is so hot. It's so hot. Ooh, so that's why you need to make sure to drink in those hot weathers enough water, really enough water. But the thing is, I forgot my water, <laughs> so I need to get somewhere water. It's so hot. So unfortunately, this match we lost to no, and to be fair, they were really good. They were really, really good. They have good players and they just like played on the floor because non-league is not really that much playing on the floor, but really they played tuck tuck. They bounced the ball from side to side. They switched side like proper football. And how I played, because this game was recorded, but I contacted the person who recorded that match and he still haven't got back to me. So I hope that he will do in the next couple of days. But that's what I mean. It's not always that easy to have a cameraman to travel with me to all matches. This is, this is very, very difficult. And especially if you travel to those places that are far away, like I don't have, I don't have anyone that can come to record my match on a regular basis. And even that I need that, but yeah, I don't know anyone. So that's why on some days like this, where you rely on other people and the result is you get disappointed. So if he send me those highlights, it would be amazing. But if not, then that's it. But we lost 2-0 no. and how did I play it? I mean, now by playing four games, of course, I get more and more confident. I get more and more confident because that's natural. So that's why I rejected that pro club trial. 
because at that time I didn't feel just comf confident. I didn't feel comfortable in my position. What exactly do I need to do in this kind of things? But match by match, my confidence, the things that I need to do are just improving. And hopefully soon I'm going to be ready for any pro club. But in this match, I played all right. I mean, as, as always, I receive long balls like so, so much. And a couple of times I bring them down. And us tall strikers or tall target men like Edin Dzeko, Luca Toni, like uh, Lassina Traore, so, so many like tall players even Sebastian Haller who plays for West Ham like we rely on crosses from out wide like we need to have like wingers who are able to 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 take defenders on and and those kind of things bring crosses even from halfway crosses over crosses but unfortunately in this match I didn't receive any cross again like not like in and that's what is really a problem that we need to work on as a team when you have a tall striker he needs crosses I need crosses to score headers because that's are my strengths to to score headers like from crosses something like that but unfortunately no cross at all but also on some occasions I've been very very unlucky but it's always hard to like analyze yourself like your performance i think other people need to perform need to need to say how you played but yeah that's that's how it is <sighs> but mate this match to know to lose is, is is very hard because especially me i'm a person who always wants to win and who always wants to give his best but sometimes yeah matches like this happens but the plan now is I need a one-on-one -on -one coach. I need that. I need to work on, on certain kind of things and I need to improve on that. So that's what I need to do. Because if I don't improve on that, there's no way I'm gonna be a pro, no way. If you guys know a one-on-one -on -one coach who really does training sessions like those, like Jonah one-on-one, -on -one, but here in London, it would be just amazing. This is going to be my post-match meal. Simply pasta with zucchini and pepper. So loads of carbs after the match, because especially after match you need carbs. Because I said once in a video, after a training session late in the night, you don't need carbs. And I still think that because you can have carbs in the morning. But now after match, Carbs are very important, very, very important. Unfortunately, my friends who came from Germany, they will leave me tomorrow. Man, that's very sad. I had such a good time with them and they made me really think of something else than, than football. Because sometimes it's not just all about football, football, football. Sometimes it's about spending time, spending quality time with your friends. And just enjoying yourself but what i'm going to do now i'm going to finish that food and then i'm going to head to them to their house to just enjoy the last couple of hours with them and tomorrow recovery session but we keep going we keep going so that's why i'm going to end the vlog here but thanks again for all the support again every single time when I see those messages, like you guys are unbelievable. You guys are unbelievable. And just have a look at my Boguva clothing Instagram site. Mate, it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be fire. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button, guys. Keep in mind, when you believe, everything is possible. So Team Brandao, mm, I'll see you tomorrow.
Thank <laughs> you.